Right. Okay, um... Let's go take some art classes. Oh yeah, uh, 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 taking art classes. Don't, don't worry about, don't worry about what's going on over there. Wait, actually, do you have anything to say to me? Oh. Ah, uh, nah, I'm good. Okay, that was the secret. Okay, cool. Dinners where everything's just going uh, great. Yeah. Well, I guess where the art school is, as far as I know. Ooh, that is loud. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Hey! Yes. For today's assignment, portrait of a friend! Well, I gotta do Clementine. Hold on. I need to take a picture of her before I before this before the screen changes. Hold on while I take a picture of my screen. Okay. Or you can make someone up. Trying to capture the real unique character in the painting. Okay. Wow, rainbow. <laughs> okay. Uh, boop. tools do I have at my disposal? I only haven't unlocked two brush styles. I have no idea where they could be because I feel like I've been everywhere. Alright, it's an airbrush. Okay. Big airbrush. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's all part of the process. gradient. Ah! Give me a second.
Well, I can't do that yet. Hold on. Whoop. Shape. NPC, welcome. How are you doing today? That creepy pasta art. Was amazing. <laughs> Is that color? Yeah, that color goes with it. Oh, it's gonna be a big head and a little body. It's fine. Yeah, well, that had. That had audio and everything. You really went all out. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, you were successful. Actually, yeah, that wasn't the right spot. Got little stubby legs. It's the wrong color. Why can't I see colors anymore? Hello? What? Oh, this one. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I had to squish the body just a little bit. <laughs> that it could fit. Sorry, Clem.
little smile instead. Hello, smile. A little tooth. Trying to get into the movies without paying concessions. There's just a bunch of snacks shoved in those pockets. No one will ever know. Just a little bit. A little bit more there. A little bit nitpicking there. Yeah, sure. Brush this down. Now that's what I call a friend. Oh gosh, I had no idea what to do for this one. I wish mine came out as good as yours. It's quite complex. I like the emphasis on dark blue, you made especially a tasteful use of that purple color. I get a real sense of who this person is from the drawing. So I'd say you nailed it. <laughs> Thanks, Clementine. <laughs> Is another artist rendition. Ooh. Letting go by fries. Whoa. This is is intense. Actually, this color is a little bit darker. How's your Sunday going, EPZ? Have a good day. Had a pretty good day. Lazy day. Left in more than I usually do, which is nice. Wish I had black. Guess I could have made, made a custom one. Day. 
Maple! Hello! Thank you! Okay, there's the sword. Part of the arm and the body. The legs. <laughs> okay, how about these purples? Uh, is a good enough medium one. Pretty good with me. How about you, Maple? How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> When you drink energy drinks and it just gives you it gives you the phlegm. The dreaded phlegm. This looks really good so far. <laughs> Not toot my own horn or anything. Craven Sushi. Well, I was gonna say we should go get some, and I was like, well, I forgot I don't like. <laughs> we should go get some at some point. Flame, a little flame. The little stripes on the boots. some China spots. My head just kind of ignored this whole part of the sword. Why did I just notice it now? <laughs> Head was like, we're not doing that part yet. But now we are, so. <laughs> I 
Not important. Goopies. Alright, nailed it! <laughs> so gloomy. Yeah, but also kind of cool. You have to truly capture the coolness of this piece. The shapes are complex. There's a lot to think about. Like I use just a touch of teal. The image feels all about that dark purple color. Okay, that's it for now. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Elevensies Master Gallery. Which we will visit after we're done with all the art classes, so that we can learn more about the original art. Anger! Oh no, one of these. Hmm. My deepest inner anger! good. Those colors make me mad. <laughs> or time travel. This one freezer me than I thought, and turns out I had a lot to express. Cheers, true. It's not... Okay. That was a new brush I got. Ooh! <laughs> a breezy field by vanilla. Ooh. Mm, okay. Stands out too much. Uh, that one's probably good. Okay. The mountain. To the mountain. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Actually, those look like like in green fields, so maybe it's like
And then... Fox... Dog... <laughs> I have anything helpful here. I have a pink. I'll use that, I guess. Shirt or dress B. I already made it way too big. Uh, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. <laughs> So I have in this. I don't make any light colors, so don't you do that one? going almost straight down. Okay. The hat. The hat and the scarf. Same shade, so we gotta... yellow. <laughs> sure. I just need something for the shading on the dress. Perfect! Wait. I can zoom in! <laughs> okay. I forgot about that for most of this game. Uh... 
don't really know if I can put any details in the head. So, no head? Oops. What? Oh, oh, this one. I like that better for the scarf now. <laughs> We did. Hmm. Feels mysterious, just like the original one that the artist was thinking about. I really like the light blue green. It's quite complex. A touch of pink adds quite a bit. This was a tough one for me, but you did great pizza. Okay. Man, we're learning so much art today. Yeah. Assignment, create a cool and scary creature. It's worth the things it eats. This might give you a clue. Cool or scary creature. Should have just done the paint bucket. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna do. Creature that is. Well, actually, first I'm gonna draw a red aisle back here. A bigger one up front. What is the creature gonna look like? Uh. Let's just give it like. Big teeth. Than like big hands, 
big meaty claws. Well, it's like a, only a head and arms, I guess. It's holding that one. A monster, but only eats apples. Done. Feels all the apples. Should have put horns on it or something. Oh well. Ah, uh, cool. Grr. I wouldn't want to meet this one. Such a blue green adds quite a bit. Make the green use dark, dark purple brown. It's vivid and full of colors. It's super, super cool. It reminds me of the movie. I, this movie I really love. Maybe it has a kind heart though. That's what I like to think. Yes! More art class! Oh! <laughs> What's this one <laughs> thinking about? <laughs> The Bachelor Party by Plantain. Okay. All right, y'all, let's do our best. I have lighter colors. It's okay. Okay, this will be this cat. Oh no, I made a mistake. I gotta complete the shape. And then the other one, much lighter color, maybe this one? Now I have a branch pattern that'll do 
these zigzags for me, but I don't feel like it. A slightly lighter color. Same color as the table, but you know it's fine. bright. That's so very bright, but that's so... Like that. Might just be lazy and do like a line art color for the eyes. You know what? Nah, I don't need to do that. Hold on. I need what are color that, that are cats' eyes. So I know maybe I'll give it blue eyes. has a monocle. I draw a monocle. Those old drinks on there, sure.
Eh, whatever. Shadows don't exist anymore. Then we have like a little shot glass. And then whatever that's over there, deck of cards. Sure. A monocle. Give him a monocle. A monocle. What do you have? You have a collar and also a monocle. Brushes down. <laughs> I done time. <laughs> I wish I could be at that party too. Which one are you? I'm the one on the left. It's nicely detailed. It's full of varied colors. You made a good use of that red brown color. I'm probably the one on the right. They look like they were having fun. I can feel that in your painting too. Going pretty good. It's going with you. I'm just taking all of the art classes. All of them. Express love! Think deeply about this one. Love is universal, yet everyone's experience of it is unique. What does love feel like to you? What does it look like? I want you to express that. Aww! Express love! <laughs> uh... Do, 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 do. Love. Two love. My paint bucket. Okay. Oops. Love is what brings us all together today. And this day of holy matrimony. Love. No, that's not the color I wanted. Oh, 
Oops. Hopefully these... No, they don't look phallic. No way. Unless if it has... Unless if somebody has four balls. But you know. Maybe. I haven't seen it. It's supposed to be hands. Something that you share with your friends. <laughs> like strawberries <laughs> on a hot summer day. That's love to me. And, and hanging out with friends. Alright, brushes down. Let's see how they look. That's really beautiful, Pizza. Feels right to me. This image feels all about that blue color. I can sense you're a big fan of color. Like I use just blah, blah, blah. Hmm. You know, I've never really been in love, but I'd like to feel like this someday. Okay. This is it! The final lesson! Of course, I saved the most intricate piece for last. The challenge... The, the, this challenge will challenge... This classic will challenge your every artistic skill. We'll be doing a master study of a horse! <laughs> okay. Portrait of a horse looking back by corn. Striking, isn't it? Put all your heart into it and see what you can make. straight up photograph or is it <laughs> yo I got this but no I, I didn't that color. I wanted this one. Challenge, challenge, challenges. <laughs> classic challenges of challenging classics. Yep. I don't have orange. That's disappointing. I have orange in here. Don't. That's what I have to do.
I forgot the neck. <laughs> it was perfect other than that. Streamer, how's it going? I'm doing my final recreation of a classic. The most complicated one yet. sure everyone is just speechless of my mastery of the craft. Let's give it a purple mane. I have taught how to draw horses to so many kids. <laughs> Kids love horses. And I gave it a... Do -do 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 -do. Can't forget about its little little crest thing. Cool, and now we can add some clouds and a sun. You know, I respect the classics, and you know, we draw some flowers on the ground. Oh, I almost made a grave mistake. The, the horse has to have a shadow. Or else it's not a... Or else you can't tell where it is. Some far away flowers. Stems. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Done. Chills. <laughs> this one always freaks me out. There are a lot of shapes to appreciate. There's just a touch of light blue green to round it out. I appreciate your varied color choices here. Okay, and that's it. You've completed every art class we have to offer. Congratulations. Please take this honorary degree. Yay, an art degree. Oh, if only it was that simple. Your studies may be done here, but you should never, ever stop practicing. Your artistic journey never ends. Yay, we did it. Congrats on finishing classes, pizza. I'm kind of jealous. Seem to have everything pretty figured out. Graduation's creeping up on me, too. Mom and Dad are kinda expect me to move out, but yeah, I still have no idea what I'm gonna do. I thought you wanted to be an artist! I mean, I like doing art. 
I don't know about being an artist. Can I tell you a secret? I think I want to draw tattoos. Whoa! Why is that a secret? I don't think mom and dad are gonna like it. I mean, it's not the same as being the wielder. I want to do something that makes them proud. Especially after going through school. They gave up a lot for me. And I love them both so much. I feel like just doing something like that. I don't know. Clementine? I was a barista and a janitor after I moved out. I really never figured my stuff out. But they've always loved me just the same. I know. But it's different. It's that you've always kind of been all over the place. And you know we still love you to bits. But like, for me, I think mom and dad expect more. I'm really scared of disappointing them. Uh, sorry, Pizza. I, I didn't really mean... I know, I understand how you feel. It doesn't matter what you do, Clementine. I'll love you no matter what. You feel the same about me, don't you? Of course I do. We all do. Don't you think mom and dad feel that about you, too? As long as you're happy doing what you want, I know they're gonna be proud of you. Aw. I, um... Aww! I, I think I knew all that, but... I guess I just needed to hear it. Thanks, pizza. Ooh! Dude, my sister opening up a tattoo parlor would be the dopest shit. Aw, oh, well that was lovely. I wanna wear... Let's see. That's cute. Well, I want to learn a little bit more about all of those classic paintings we just recreated. So let's go to Elevensies. And, um... Where's that again? Did I forget where it was? Yeah, it's here. And we've unlocked all areas of the map. Colored in pretty much everywhere that could be colored. Okay. There's only two brush styles that we don't have. Whoops. I went too far. But I'm not too worried. I'm not too concerned about trying to get it and get it them both. Well, look at my gallery all together. Wow. Hundred percent speed run is like two hours. Well, I'm sure it'll get quicker, but that that's pretty quick. I mean, I've been taking that time, so I guess it wouldn't. Whatever. Letting go. It's a historical piece about the lasting impact of the Brush Wars. Whoa. It's a really dark piece, tonally and visually. The only source of light are of the spirits of the Knight's fallen comrades. It works visually, but it's also an, a kind of nice metaphor, isn't it? They're finally letting go of those they lost, and it gives them some warmth. Let's hope there's never another Brush War. A breezy field by vanilla. You can really feel the breeze in this one, can't you? The pose, the dramatic landscape. This one is a hashtag a mood. It's strongly from the Annie period. A oh, anime period of art history. <laughs> I love all the artists in this gallery, but vanilla might be my favorite. Because you're a weeb! In an era overflowing with wonderful art, her stood out. I get everything to see what her original colors were like. What, you mean I didn't- whatever. One. 
the bachelor party by Plantain. Plantain's a really interesting character, historically. They say that later in life he suffered greatly from violent moon swings and mental illness. His art also got a lot more experimental and interesting. Some psychologists actually studied how his art changed over his life as a window into the shifting mental state. But the more they scrutinized it, the less it explained anything to do with his mental health. It goes to show how stigmatized mental illness is. Any old artist can draw weird stuff, and it's fine. But if that artist is suffering from a mental illness, their experimentation is evidence of their madness. Kind of a double standard, right? Folks see romance in the idea of a mad artist, but struggling with mental health doesn't help anyone make anything. If anything, it's amazing that Plantain could still paint so late in life. I like to think painting helped him give some peace and balance. His characters still make me smile anyway. That's what I've been wanting to say! <laughs> That's what a lot of people have been wanting to say. Like, the mad artist is so romanticized. Like, Van Gogh and all that? It's like you have to be some tortured artist in order to be good. Where that is, uh, not true. Take care of yourselves, everybody. <laughs> Uh, most of these famous artists are not role models to try to emulate. <laughs> not- none whatsoever. Portrait of a horse looking back by Korn! It's a very- it's the very last missing piece. Amazing job! There's just so much to unpack about it, too. The figure is nude, but the focus is solely on their expression. <laughs> Despite that, you can feel them laid bare before you. The coquettish look over their shoulder, and the looking back has a double meaning, doesn't it? They seem to be looking back at us, but what else lies behind them? It all adds to the timeless mystery of their expression. But of course, the most salient detail is the hyper-realism. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? It's almost realer than real. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. That's how you know Korn was a real master. <laughs> it's diabolically overplayed and hyped up. Something is good because the artist would- yeah, for sure. Okay. Ah, uh, gotta love those time lapses. Hmm. Okay, see ya! See, that might be all of the unfinished business that we have. Pretty sure. Like we have missing presents and we have missing brush styles or whatever, but eh, I think I just wanna. I think I just wanna go. So, uh, let's go. Off to lunch and we go. Uh, off to lunch and we go. Uh, 